Hey everybody, this is Aaron Anto and this is a video of the new Tesla version 9 update. And so I have a Model 3 as you can see here. And I'm going to be getting onto the highway. And then I'll be showing the auto the auto lane change feature where it shows the blind spots now and then show you also the different Cool updates on the traffic, the new 360 representation of traffic on the display. The big update, the drive on nav, uh, is not in this version, unfortunately, but Tesla is working on getting that all ready to go for the public. So, next update hopefully will be that. That'll be added. I drove a little bit already on the highway and definitely it feels really smooth. The autopilot, very smooth, no issues so far. So I'll now show you what it looks like. Of course there's been a lot of navigator, a lot of UI changes in the dash. Almost everything is very welcome changes. Alright, so I'm gonna merge into traffic. Alright, and as you can see, the, 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 the cars in your display are now properly represented. Um, if they're a car, or like an SUV, or a truck, or a pedestrian, or a motorcycle. So there's a truck coming up behind me, on the left. I guess that's what, the, what a truck is. <laughs> it's a little bit jerky, which I can only assume that it's because it's moving between two different um, cameras, so it's a little, a little tricky right now, but it's pretty good. Uh, okay, and then, uh, why are we going so slow on the highway? Okay, auto lane change, here we go, it's showing all the, all the other lanes here as well, which is really cool. here it's well it actually won't change it, it won't show you it won't show you the blind spot warning if you have the auto drive turned on so the lines are going to remain blue but if I turn this off okay and then I try to change lanes see it's gonna show me the red the red line so acceleration but it's still in it's still in auto drive changing lanes auto driving okay wow that was really great it didn't give me any warning to take over on that that, that off ramp so much an improvement 
there. But yeah, so yeah, it definitely... It's a cool representation of all the traffic around you now, which is great. Um, yeah, the, the navigation is now on the left-hand side versus the right-hand side, uh, which is better for the driver. improvements all across the board and look here's the, the HVAC controls where you can control the airflow of the car left and right. I do agree with other people that say like the controls the controls are separated for the different things you can do like turning on AC and whatnot but yeah like I agree that that's a step backwards in the UI design everything I feel like should be centralized especially when you have nothing here in the center um, but definitely I mean Tesla is always updating the software so of course they can tweak that in the future all right I really have no idea what where I'm going to be going the dash cam yep so we got dash cam feature I got my USB stick installed on the bottom in, in here is and I'm, I'm not sure if you can see the icon but there's a dash cam icon there I can just press that icon and it will save the last bit of video to the dash or, or to the USB stick I'll go ahead and plop it up on the video too. So you can see the quality. It's, just, it's using the, the narrow field vision, I think, uh, camera right now, so it's not a wide angle yet. But I'm sure that'll be coming in the future as well as being able to record from the different uh, other cameras. Uh, they have a, an app drawer here, so you can see energy as the current like current energy usage consumption um, web browser we will check that out when I park of course calls charging your camera and your calendar is now new a little Easter egg if you hold down it says call if you hold down on the call it says ahoy ahoy <laughs> Ahoy, ahoy. Or, or ahoy, 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 whatever you say, however you say that. And of course they got the Atari games on here too, which I will also load up after I park. Cancel this trip. child seats so because if there's something in the seat like a child in a, in a car seat and it's not heavy enough or something then or but yeah it'll give you some kind of warning right um, and so you can actually designate it and say like oh this is this is the child seat and it will turn off the warning or something Yeah, you can just press these and it'll turn on the heated seats. All off. 